Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2020 Bowman Chrome Hobby 12 box case break pick your team number 7 sold out late night at the end we're going to be doing some uh, a giveaway of one box of Bowman Chrome ship sealed to the winner all you had to do was have two or more teams in the break if you had two teams, you got one entry if you had four, you had two entries six, three entries, so on and so forth all cards ship so let's go here is our customer list if you see the little hat mark rooftop next to it uh, that means that that was one in a uh, filler break but good luck to everybody involved thanks to everybody getting in on this late night and that filler here's our case let's open it up take out all 12 box stack them up and start pack stacking uh, to anybody watching this on uh, replay, hi. Um, you guys can actually go look down into the information down below in the description of the break, and you'll find a little hyperlink for uh, the recap, auto recap, low numbered, um, any standout cards, stuff like that, as well as the uh, box giveaway. So you can use that hyperlink to skip forward in the video and just get all the uh, the meat, not the potatoes, so to say. So for the sake of time, since there is quite a bit of packaging on here, we're probably going to, I'll probably pack stack uh, six boxes because that's typically what's going to take the longest in a break like this each box has too many boxes in it each mini box has one auto in most cases the auto is in the very first pack but we'll double check Sometimes it can be in the last pack. But we'll see. So in the mini boxes, typically it's the very first pack or the very last pack. I haven't seen any in between yet. So. Let's use this one as a tester to see. And it's typically, if it's on it in one, then it's on it in all of them. If it's like most cases, the auto's on. The, yep. So that's the top pack. So what we'll do, we'll keep the autos on the bottom. And we'll keep them in stacks. No? No? Is that not the. These ones are the last box, or the last pack. Okay. Like I said, we'll keep them in stacks so we can make sure we get obviously the two autos per master box and so on and so forth. So if you're watching live right now, feel free to use the facilities, get yourself some water. Some people in the, the chat sometimes will go run and uh, put in put in a nice little chew. If that's your thing, go for it. But make sure you come back in time for all the monsters that we're going to uncover.
pulled one Super Fractor. I wouldn't mind, and I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind me pulling another one. Still haven't pulled a red. Even though this is a baseball break, it is technically Thursday, which means Thursday night football. Gardner Minshew, Jaguars versus Ryan Fitzpatrick and the Dolphins. I've got the Jaguars, um, but I think I'm. I think the biggest question from this is when do you think? Uh, the Dolphins will turn to Tua. I feel like he'll add a nice little uh, wrinkle to their offense. Maybe spark it a little bit different. I, I don't even know anymore, man. The bubble has just... I mean, use it as me making excuses or what, but the bubble has just kind of thrown it all through a loop, man. Like, I don't think in a regular year, I don't think Denver or Miami get to this, like, point. Um, I think the Clippers would still be in it in a normal year. I don't know. At this point, I'm I'm still sticking I'm still sticking with the. Uh, Miami has done really good at closing it out, though. I'm going Boston still in seven in the East. I'm um, going Lakers in the West. It's gonna be Boston Lakers. I don't know about the finals though. I just don't know.
So you're saying Heat and six in the finals, Nick? No matter who they play? Well, how bad do you think it has to go tomorrow, Tice? Do you think in finals against the Lakers? How bad do you think it, it like, um, fits, fits, uh, Magic has to do? Yeah. I was gonna say, like, I, I feel like, I feel like Fitzpatrick would have to be terrible tomorrow for Tua. But, at the same point, is, is Tua even completely healthy? Like, do we know that yet? I know he was still on the injury report at the beginning of the season. You know what I mean? Like, and like, he might not be injured, injured, but he's still in recovery. You know what I mean? I can't believe it, Tice. I cannot believe it. It seems un, like, unreal. Like, it seems like, honestly, that seems like something that would happen in like a terrible version of like, of like Varsity Blues or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. It's the weirdest thing. I feel so bad, too, because honestly, like, that guy put in a ton of work for this year. He put in a ton of work for this year. And the sad part, this is a contract year for him, too. So this is his last year under contract. Joe made... Uh, Joe was joking, but I'm serious. Like, he made a very good point. One, f loss of future earnings if he can't play this year or ever again, potentially, because of medical issues if it doesn't get fixed. Right? Right? That's not, that's a big, a big lawsuit. On top of that, like, who, uh, I mean, Joe, like, Joe made a joke, but he said, like, honestly, it'd be, the, it, for the Chargers to, uh, the Chargers to avoid all of that problem, maybe they sign him to a long-term contract right now. I mean, obviously, it'd most likely be as a backup, but but no, I was. I mean, Chargers fan or not, I was rooting for him to do well. I don't want him to suck, and this definitely doesn't help. Yeah, it's it's so weird to think like, and two, how do you find out like? How do you how does it feel to have a punctured lung? Like all of a sudden you just get your shot and all of a sudden your breathing like capacity is shrinks and you're just like, "Oh, that that's weird." Every time I've gotten a cortisone shot or a pain shot, a painkiller shot before, I've never lost my ability to breathe at full capacity. Like is it shortness of shortness of breath? Are you not able to breathe in as deep? Does it just hurt? So many questions. Where's hard knocks when you need it? Let's see, the thing is, Mark, I mean, the, the long-term effects are, like, this, legi this legitimately could cost him a future contract. The only redeeming factor is Tyrod Taylor's not young. Um, he was a rookie in 2011, so he's been in the league for a decade now, right? Well, so Tice, apparently, it actually, it's not uncommon. It obviously, it's not, the, it's not the, it's not the desired effect of the shot, but apparently it is a known risk, and obviously not common, but... Like, it is something that happens.
apparently. That's the thing. I mean, if the Chargers take care of him now and guarantee him a, a contract and all this stuff, let's say for, you know, he's been in the league for nine, ten years. Maybe they give him a three-year contract, get him to that 14, like 12 four, to, you know, like 15 year, whatever, however many years he's been in the league. Like, they give a guarantee him that portion of it. Do you still sue? Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's like independently or if it's the Chargers doctor or what, you know? Unfortunately, the Chargers have a bad history with doctors. Who Somebody was saying earlier, I think Ryan Harold was saying that the ex-Chargers doctor who got in trouble and fired from the Chargers for over-prescribing pain meds to players, I think, and other staff, maybe, back when they were in San Diego. He apparently also released a video. He's he's known, I don't think, I don't know if he does it freelance or if he's hired by somebody, but he's a doctor that breaks down football injuries, because obviously that's what he does. <laughs> uh, I think... Yeah, that's the one, Mark. Yeah, that guy. I think it's the same guy. But he's he's the one that uh, he did a video breakdown of it. And it's so weird to see a guy, a disgraced doctor from the Chargers, break down an issue with a doctor from the Chargers. Like, it's just... It's like, what kind of, what episode of Black Mirror are we in right now? But no matter what, it's just not a good look. Mason Denneberg, Purple Shimmer. Washington Nationals, Tristan Ritchie, spot he won in that filler break. So I've placed it so that the autos, there you go. Very nice start. Luis Robert Purple to 250 for the Chicago White Sox. Darek Lydia, Lida. Um, I've set it up so that the autos are in the very bottom of each one of the stacks. Uh, Marco Luciano to 499 for the San Francisco Giants and Mark Bissett. Very nice, Luis. Kyle Lewis, Seattle Mariners. Rookie for Terry Fan. Spot got straight up. Dylan Carlson Blue for the St. Louis Cardinals and Eric Ainge. Aquino for the Reds and Matthew Shira and our first auto Antonio Cabello purple to 250 for the New York Yankees and Daniel Ruiz Robert Plawson for the A's Joe Maderos and our second auto Ivan Herrera Bowman first auto for the St. Louis Cardinals Eric Ainge
Box two. Bobby Witt Jr. Refractor for the Kansas City Royals. Mark Bissett. Noah Song. Green Shimmer to 99 for the Boston Red Sox. Mark Bissett. Ryan Jensen, blue to 150 for the Cubs. And Derek Lita. Jay Groom to 499 for the Boston Red Sox. And Mark Bissett. Fair and Laura. Texas Rangers, Matthew Shira. Jordan, rookie, Houston Astros. Mike Rosinski, spot he won in the filler. Bo Bichette, Toronto Blue Jays, Mark Bissett. Keston Hira, purple to 250. For the Brewers, Brandon Morocco. Gilberto Jimenez. Purple to 250, Bowman first auto for the Red Sox and Mark Bissett. And Packy Naughton, Bowman first for the Cincinnati Reds and Matthew Shira. I didn't do one, Mark. I honestly didn't. I kind of, I'm not going to lie, Mark. I, uh, for a long time there, I didn't think the season was going to happen. Even when, like, everything was set up. I could, I, I swore that once training camps happened that, like, there was going to be a bunch of outbreaks throughout a bunch of teams and stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't think that like, the season was going to happen at all. I was like... There's no point in getting <laughs> getting excited for it. Like, there's no way this is going to happen. So far, everything's good. Aquino for the Reds. Matthew Shira. Kyle Lewis. Ooh, wow. That's a nice card. Kyle Lewis, though. Seattle Mariners. Terry Fan. And how about a orange shimmer? Bobby Witt Jr. to 25. For the Kansas City Royals and Mark Bissett. Yikes. Robert Poisson. For the Oakland A's, Joe Medeiros. Jesus Sanchez, the 499. For the Marlins, Tice. Some of these are sticking for some reason. I have not encountered that yet. Bayron Laura. For the Rangers, Matthew Shira. Jordan. For the Astros, Mike Krasinski. Dalton Jeffries to 99 for the A's. Joe Medeiros. First auto. Christian Koss. Colorado Rockies, Bowman first. Rockies, Robert Runkle, spot he won in that filler. Bo Bichette, Toronto Blue Jays, Mark Bissett. And second auto, Yondris Gomez, Bowman first auto for the New York Yankees, Daniel Ruiz. Why is it sticking? It's literally sticking to the card behind it. You can see that. Doesn't look like it left anything on the back of the auto, but you can see that spot there on the Keegan Aiken. Hopefully it's not like that in all the boxes. Or... Just a heads up. 
I don't want to try to remove that from that card or check the back of the other card because I don't want to add to whatever potentially is on there or, you know, has come off or anything like that. Box four. Dalton Jeffries, Purple Shimmer. Going to the A's, Joe Maderos. William Contreras to 250 for the Braves and Brandon Morocco. We know for the Reds, Matthew Shira, Kyle Lewis, Mariners, Terry Fan, Anthony K to four ninety nine for the Blue Jays and Mark Bissett. First auto, Drew Millis for the A's, Joe Maderos. Very good auto there. And Brandon Lewis for the Dodgers and Mike Krasinski, the spot he won in that filler break. And then a Robert Fawson as well for the A's and Joe Maderos. Box number five. Nico Horner for the Cubs. Derek Lita. Baron Laura for the Rangers. Matthew Shira. Yu Chang, rookie blue to 150 for the Indians. Joe Maderos. Ethan Hearn to 99, Green Sparkle. For the Cubs, Derek Lita. Robert Flossen. For the A's, Joe Maderos. Brendan McKay. For the Rays, Tice. Spot he won. Tristan McKenzie to 499 for the Indians, Joe Maderos. Luis Robert. Oh, we got a redemption. For the Chicago White Sox, Derek Lita. Michael Harris for the Braves. Brandon Morocco, Bowman first. And the redemption, Bowman Chrome Prospect autograph of Isaac Paredes, Detroit Tigers. Detroit Tigers, Nick Galvin, spot he won in that uh, filler. There you go, Nick. Congrats, man. That's who we uh, pulled the Superfractor of the other night uh, over on Personals. 
Also a redemption. Very good prospect for the uh, Tigers. I believe he is getting playing time already up in the big leagues currently. So next year, probably rookie. So not too bad. Kyle Muller for the Braves. Brandon Morocco, Purple Shimmer. Albert Ozle, Rookie Purple to 250 for the Cubs and Derek Lita. Charlie Blackman refractor to 499 for the Rockies and Robert Runkle spot you won Farm to Fame Wade Boggs uh, that is Red Sox version of Wade Boggs Mark Fassett Jason Dominguez for the Yankees Daniel Ruiz and Otto Jordan Brewer of the Astros, Mike Rosinski. And Bowman First Refractor Auto, Max Lazard of 499 for the Milwaukee Brewers. And Brandon Morocco. Halfway there. Some high tech trash stomping right there. Cool. Let's keep it going. So, nice first half. See if we can find another redemption. This one of the rookie type, maybe.
So if anybody's listening right now, what do you guys give the Angels chances of making the playoffs? I, I, the Angels won today, I believe. But before today, the scenarios where the Angels either had to go four and one in their five remaining games, which one of them was today, I believe they won. Um, and then, <laughs> then Seattle or Tor no, uh, Houston or Toronto, I think, had to go like one, one and four in their final five, and Seattle had to lose one game. So either either Toronto or Houston had to go one and four, and Seattle had to lose one game. But if uh, if the Angels. Didn't go five, uh, four and one. Oh wait. Right. That oh, so they had to, the Angels had to go undefeated. So what or whatever I don't even know. If they went four and one, then they needed Seattle to lose two and Houston or Toronto. To go o, like 0 for 5 for the end of the season. So there was a chance.
One box left after this, guys, and then we'll go through them. And recap. Last box. Good luck, everyone. Let's find Super Fractor. Let's find Red. Take some orange as well, right? good stuff is right Nick it's all waiting for the end so let's find it there you go AJ Puck, purple to 250. For the A's, Joe Maderos. Casey Mize to 499 for the Tigers. Nick Galvin. <laughs> yeah, Tice. It's not one of those things you really forget. Jason Dominguez, Daniel Ruiz, and the Yankees. The more you think about it, the more it actually, you probably keep thinking about it. Very nice. Baron Laura, Purple Sparkle, Texas Rangers. Uh, Matthew Shira. Aquino. For the Reds and Matthew Shira. Kyle Lewis. Ooh. Getting some really nice color. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Terry Fan. Aaron Judge, orange to 25. For the Yankees, Daniel Ruiz. And Francisco Alvarez, auto. Bowman first for the New York Mets. Eric Ainge. And Bryant Packard. Prospect Auto for the Tigers. Uh, and Nick Galvin. Spot he won in that filler break.
Robert Fawson for the A's, Joe Maderos. Per uh, blue, Bobby Bradley to 150. For the Indians, Joe Maderos. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, Mike Krasinski. Ooh, how about a one of one? Not a super fractor. Braden Shoemake. Atlanta Braves. Brandon Morocco. Black Sparkle. Black Shimmer. One of one. There you go. Very cool. I think that'll make the recap, right? How soon is he in the majors? Isn't he? Eh, 21st overall pick in 2019. Not too bad. And he's not a pitcher. Baron Laura. Wow. Look at that one. Atomic Refractor. Numbered to 150. Texas Rangers. Matthew Shira. This is a ridiculous case. Told you the second half had the stuff. <laughs> Kevin Smith, blue, Bowman first auto to 150 for the Mets. Eric Ainge. Luis Matos, Bowman first refractor auto for the Giants. Mark Fassett. I'm going to have to turn the air conditioning back on. It's getting hot in there. All this hot, hot heat coming off of this box. Can you imagine that as a personal box for somebody, by the way? Baron Laura Atomic to 150, even though it's an insert. And that one of one. Braden Shoemake. Plus the autos. Nico Horner for the Cubs. Derek Lita. Advert Alzale, purple to 250 for the Cubs and Derek Lita. Steve Carlton, fame, uh, sorry, farm to fame for the Cardinals. Going to Eric Ainge. Quinn Priester to 150 for the Pirates. Uh, and Tice, and then the regular refractor version of that Baron Laura for the Rangers, Matthew Shira. Anthony Rizzo, refractor to 499 for the Cubbies, Derek Lita. And Ricky Venasco, purple auto to 250. Bowman first for the Rangers, Matthew Shira. And Jonathan Stiver, prospect auto for the White Sox. And Derek Lida and Baron Laura again for the Rangers, Matthew Shira.
Aquino for the Reds, Matthew Shira. Julio Rodriguez, Purple Shimmer for the Mariners, Terry Fan. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners, Terry Fan. We got a gold. Tristan McKenzie for the Indians, Joe Maderos. Corey Lee to 250 for the Houston Astros and Mike Krasinski. Max Lazar for the Milwaukee Brewers, Brandon Morocco, Bowman First Auto. Jordan for the Astros, um, Mike Krasinski. And Eric Pena, Bowman First Auto for the Royals. Going to Mark Bissett. Last two boxes. Good luck, everybody. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals and Mark Bissett. Keone Cavaco, Purple Shimmer for the Twins and Nick Galvin. Vidal Brujan, stud, for the Rays, Tice, number to 150. D.L. Hall to 499 for the Orioles, uh, and Robert Runkle. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, Mike Krasinski. Tristan Lutz, gold to 50 for the Brewers, Brandon Morocco. Bryant Packard, blue, prospect auto to 150 for the Tigers. And Nick Alvin, spot he won. Baron Laura, again for the Rangers, Matthew Shira. And Vaughn Grissom, Bowman First Auto for the Braves, Brandon Morocco. Cool, and last box mojo, guys. Recap coming up after this. Brendan McKay for the Rays, Tice. Robert Poisson for the A's, Joe Maderos. Trevor Larnack, Purple Shimmer for the Twins. Nick Galvin. Nico Horner for the Cubs. Derek Lita. Luis Robert for the White Sox, Derek Lita. Francisco Alvarez to 4.99 for the Mets and Eric Ainge. Aaron Savale, rookie green to 99 for the Indians. 
uh, and Joe Maderos. Baron Laura, Texas, Matthew Shira. Just a heads up. I know it's Justin Verlander, so nothing crazy, but you can see that there's some peeling right there. Just a one that I don't have it on video. Dylan Cease, Refractor. Oh, this is the image variation, too. Very nice. For the White Sox, uh, Derek Lita. Ethan Lindau, Bowman first for the Phillies. Going to Mike Krasinski's spot he won in that filler break. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. Mike Krasinski in our final auto. Trey Harris, Bowman first for the Atlanta Braves and Brandon Morocco. There you go, guys. That is the break. Let's go ahead and pause the video. Um, I'm going to put everything in order so we can go ahead and do the recap and also the randomizer coming up after this. Hey, we're back. Uh, so that was Bowman Chrome Hobby 12 Box Case Break. Pick your team number seven. Now time for the Hobby Box Giveaway if you had two plus teams. So... Here is the original list, you can see. I've taken the spots from Nick down to Tristan Ritchie and pasted it over here. And then I've alphabetized it so that we can see how many spots everybody had. So you can see on here, Brandon with two spots got him one entry. Daniel with two spots gets him one entry. Dark with two spots got him one entry. Eric with two gets him one. Joe, two, there's one. Mark with four, gets him two. Matthew Shira with two entries, gets him one. Mike Krasinski with three entries. Two will count for one. Four would have counted for two, so three is going to get you one. Nick with three, gets you one. Rob Runkle with two, gets him one. And one, one, one. Tice with three will get you one as well. So there you go. Let me copy this list over. Paste that in. You can see Tice back up to Brandon. And dice roll here. One and a six, seven times. Name on top after seven gets a free hobby box of Bowman Chrome. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. After the spot, the spot seven coming up uh, for spots two through twelve. Thank you very much for getting two plus teams in this break and giving us a chance to close this out very uh, tonight. Uh, but congratulations to Mark Bissett. You won yourself a free hobby box coming up or ship sealed to you. So let us know what you get in that. Um, hopefully you get pull a super fract or something nice for yourself as well. But back to the recap. Had some very nice color in here, guys. So Mason Denneberg, Dalton Jeffries, Kyle Miller, Bayron Laura, Julio Rodriguez, Keone Cavaco, Trevor Larnack, Marco Luciano. These are the refractors. Uh, the purple shimmer are not numbered, but the uh, refractors are numbered to 499. Marco Luciano, Jake Groom, Jesus Sanchez, Anthony Kay, Tristan McKenzie, Charlie Blackman. Casey Mize, Anthony Rizzo, D.L. Hall, and Francisco Alvarez. We've got some purples here. Uh, these are numbered to 250 each. Keston Hira, William Contreras. Advert Alzale, A.J. Puck, Advert Alzale again, and Corey Lee. We've got an Atomic Stat Tracker, numbered to 150 for Bayron Laura. Uh, the Blues are numbered to 150. Dylan Carlson, Ryan Jensen, Yu Chang, Bobby Bradley, Quinn Priester, and Vidal Brujan. The green, Shimmer starting, and the regular are both numbered to 99. So Noah Song, Ethan Hearn, Dalton Jeffries, and Aaron Savale. Gold's numbered to 50. Tristan McKenzie, Tristan Lutz, 
orange, number to 25, Aaron Judge. And just a couple of standouts. Luis Robert, rookie purple to 250. Bobby Witt Jr., orange sparkle, number to 25. And not a super fractor, but Braden Shoemake, black sparkle, one of one. Very nice. Our autos. Base autos, no numbering, but Francisco Alvarez, Bryant Packard, Jonathan Stever, Vaughn Grissom, Max Lazar, Eric Pena, Trey Harris, Ethan Lindau, Jordan Brewer, Michael Harris, Drew Millis, Brandon Lewis, Christian Koss, Yandres Gomez, Packy Naughton, Ivan Herrera. We had a redemption for Isaac Paredes of the Tigers. Base auto. Refractor autos, number to 499, Luis Matos, Max Lazar. Purple autos, number to 250, Ricky Venasco, Antonio Cabello and Gilberto Jimenez, and our blue autos, number to 150, Kevin Smith, and Bryant Packard. Okay, so that is our break. Some very nice stuff there. Congrats again to Mark on winning that uh, hobby box. And that was Bowman Chrome Hobby 12 box case break. Pick your team number seven. Available on jazpyscasebreaks.com. Pick your team number eight in stores. I'm Sean, jazpyscasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time.